Hello and welcome. Strix Firemine here. Uh, this is going to be episode one of my new beginners series for Mech Warrior Online. Of course, in Mech Warrior Online, I'm not Strix. Uh, this account predates me using that name. Uh, instead, I was using my old name of Bailgen. Uh You will still see me online in this game. <laughs> uh, quite often, I've actually started coming back and playing again. Which is why I decided to redo my five, six-year-old videos on uh, the Beginner's Guide for Mech Warrior Online. So, in this first episode, I'm just going to point out a few basic things. Uh, your first 20 or 25 matches, I think it's 25 matches, you are getting a cadet bonus. That cadet bonus, after you've finished uh, all of the matches for it, that's going to be 20 million sea bills you have, uh, which allows you to buy yourself a new mech over in the store over here, battle mechs. Anyway, we will come to all of that in the second episode. So the first episode here is what should you be driving and what do you need to know when you're playing before you own your own mech? Well, what you'll be driving is the trial mechs. Uh, each uh, weight class, light, medium, heavy, and assault, has four trial mechs. Uh, that's two inner sphere mechs and two clan mechs. For the lights at this point in time, inner sphere are the fire starter A and the javelin. The clans are the incubus and the mist links. Uh, but then you've also got your mediums, heavies, and assaults following the same kind of rules. Two inner sphere and two clan. Let's see. I tend to prefer my medium range or my medium tonnage mechs. And for starting out, they tend to uh, overall be the best because you've got a nice combination of speed, firepower, and armor. I'm going to go ahead and do a match in this Hunchback 2CA and use that to explain a few other things in here for you beginners and cadets. Just hit the quick play button. As with all the other videos on my channel, uh, I'm not scripting things. I'm not looking for the absolute best outcome of every match that I play. Uh, I very well may lose this match. Uh, I might even die two seconds in, but that's the game. That's how it works. Uh, Mech Warrior Online is PvP, so everybody you're fighting are other people. Uh, a lot of them, like myself, have been playing this game since before it actually technically launched. I've been playing since around Halloween in 2012, which was like a day or two after the open beta launched. That being said, I do see, anytime I'm playing, at least one or two cadets. So there's always an influx of new players as well, which is why I'm remaking this. Uh, my old series was like five years old, and at least half of that information is no longer valid. This is taking me a while to find a match. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and pause this up until I load in. All right. So this screen, you'll be uh, choosing your game mode. Uh, I like Assault. And choosing your map. Uh, Caustic Valley, of course, is one of my favorite maps. Most of the community don't like going here, though. So River City it is. Now, uh, as soon as I get in here, uh, I've turned on options so I can see the all chat, so I can talk to my enemies and they can talk to me, uh, as well as being able to talk to my teammates. By default, when you first uh, launch the game, all you can see is your teammates. Uh, but I really like to have that all chat on. Uh, the game has gotten to be a lot nicer over the years. Uh, originally, that was all used for shit-talking. Uh, now it's actually more often used, especially by people like myself, for telling the person who killed me, hey, good shot. Uh, I also start off every single match with GLHF, uh, good luck, have fun. 
I am the anti-toxic player. And I keep remembering now that I've got this on my hybrid drive. That's why it loads up so slow. Uh, let's see. Any cadets this game? No cadets this game. That would be a C right here. Uh, next to the emblem or the faction emblem. I'm not even seeing very many people from units online. There's just a few of us, uh, which that's the little three or four letter appendix here is whatever unit you belong to. Uh, I'm part of Gilladran's Ghosts, of course. Go ahead and hit the ready button, though. Spol, uh, Hulong, and... Bapau here are all still connecting, and that's what's keeping things slow. And if shell, if shell, that's what I'll say that, that is. I don't know. There are some really weird names in this game. Anyway, now that the match is starting. Reactor online. Slam a hammer. Sensors Looking for beat. online. Weapons online. Down on your all bottom right. Over here, it, you see your weapons. I've got two large pulse lasers and uh, six ER mediums. So lots of laser power. We did get our assault mechs, or our assault setup. Now, I don't have my toggle arm lock set on this. I still haven't set up all of my options. And most typically on this map, everybody goes over to the Citadel area. You've got your map down below here that shows locations of uh, blue are your teammates, red are your enemies, uh, the green or teal, whatever you would call that, that's uh, your lance mates. I'm an Alpha Lance. And I need to come over here and hide for a moment. And I will show the option of how to set up for toggling arm lock. I typically don't like to hide for a fight, but I need to toggle the arm lock. So let's see. Uh, that's just the option for locking your arms, period. Uh, what I want is keyboard, toggle arm lock. I want that to be left shift instead of that being hold to uh, do arm lock. Uh, and I just messed it up, so let's set that up again. I hit the wrong button. Yes. And now let's save that. Okay, and now I can hit shift and I've got my arm lock set up. Uh, I simply do that because this mech has no weapons on the arms. So being able to move my arms is just a waste of my time. It's much snappier to aim for all these torso weapons with the arm lock on. So let's see. Target acquired. I'm already zoomed in all the way. New target Just acquired. Hit him in the cod piece a little bit. But yeah, always keep yourself near cover. Always be moving. Even if it's just a little bit. A moving target is a much harder to hit target. Alright, now down here uh, to the bottom left, you're able to see. Oof. To the bottom left, you're able to see the uh, paper doll, which lets you know how you're doing health-wise. Uh, I'm still at 97%. They've barely touched me. And they're moving around to somewhere else. So let me move back around. 
We've got two of our team members down, one of the enemy. They're behind us over near Target base. Destroyed. base so I type captured. in RTB because I'm returning to base. So I can come deal with whatever is back here. Again, I'm a medium mech. That's kind of my role, mediums and lights. Target acquired. And I've got to watch my heat directly to the right of my map. Or I will cook and die. Okay. They have a massive base rush going on over here. And that was me letting my teammates know what's going on. And I am likely destroyed now. Oh, great. That's an annihilator. <laughs> but, you know, I did 225 damage. And was killed by LRM-15s, AC-10s, and large pulse laser. So this match is going very quickly. And that will happen a lot of the time. You've got a 15-minute timer. And... Five minutes gone by, the match is already full in swing. This mad dog is, of course, like what you'll see with most people in the game, a, be a mech that he owns, that he built. So, if Shale is doing all right. I suppose. That's a lot of SRM6s. And now he's lost half of them. <laughs> but yeah, this is going to be like your first 20, 25 matches with your cadet bonus. Is just going into these with the different trial mechs. Learning what weapon systems you like out of those. What kind of mech you like. Um, because everybody's different. We all have our own likes and desires. He's got his Merrick fra uh, flag in here on his black ladder. Uh, that black ladder is actually fairly similar to the hunchback I was running in build. Just a bunch of ER medium lasers and an ECM and AMS, anti-missile system. The ECM is electronic countermeasures. It makes it harder for people to lock him. Uh, not impossible, though. A lot of people rely on ECM. But it's not the end-all, be-all. And that looks like some rotary auto cannons on that thing. And yeah, we got one more team member left. Let's see, this is another Hunchback 2CA. Uh, this isn't the trial build. He's dropped off two of the ER medium lasers, likely for a lot more heat efficiency. Because as you saw with me running the Hunchback trial mech, it is really hot. It shuts down a lot. And you saw me here watching everybody else in the rest of the fight, I highly suggest doing that because you'll learn a little bit more. Just everybody that you watch, you learn just that little extra bit more. It's super helpful. Uh, even though I don't have that much to learn anymore, I still watch everybody else play, uh, give advice here and there. But yeah, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and look at another trial mech. And do another match. And then I'll probably go ahead and call this video. Because I think it's got about all the information in it already that we need for episode one. Let's see. What's this one? A six large laser with an inner sphere targeting computer. Mark one. Or the Fafnir with two heavy Gauss rifles and three medium pulse lasers. This... 
This is an unfair mech. Uh, the heavy Gauss rifles, unlike the standard Gauss, uh, Gauss, Gauss rifles, let me say it correctly here, uh, unlike the standard Gauss rifles, these are brawler weapons. They're close range, and they hurt a lot. Uh, of course, nobody is online on my unit. But let's see. If you hover over the quick play button, you can see right now there are 32 per, or 30 percent assaults, 35 percent medium, 22 percent heavy, and 11 percent light. That's the percentage of players in that weight class that are currently dropped. So, with it being around 30 percent for assault max, this will take a little while to find a map, a match. So I'll pause it up until we get into one. All right, here we go. So I'm going to choose Caustic Valley again. And Domination. Though it looks like we're going to get Conquest. So uh, Assault, what we were doing last time. There's a single base on each side. Each team has a base. Capture the enemy base or destroy all of the enemies and you win. Conquest, there are five bases on the field. And you have to capture and hold the largest number of them and get the most points or kill all of the enemy team. Uh, domination gives you, it's essentially king of the hill. Uh, whoever has the longest amount of time in the center wins or, of course, kill all of your opponents. Uh, and then you have skirmish, which is just kill all of the other opponents kill all of the other team so this time we're on conquest uh, which I can't do much of because the Fafnir here is going to be incredibly slow it's also nicknamed the Fafnir very fat boy Forty-eight seconds because we're still waiting on two people to connect. Cowboy zero six four and Spole five. No, Cowboy connected. Just waiting for Spole. Let's see. You can see what mechs your teammates are in, though it does not tell you what mechs your enemies are in until you see them. So, he's in a Blood Ass Prime. I'm in my Fafnir. We've got a Dire Wolf. And a Kodiak. And that looks like all we have for Assault Max. Sensors online. Which means we're Weapons fairly light. Online. In most combat modes, that would be a bad thing. But here, with all of these bases to go and capture, being pretty light gives us a better chance. So, I'm just going to move in towards Theta, there in the center of the map. That's where all the big boys need to go. I keep wanting to hit F1, Wake F2 up. to call on my AI comrades, but I'm not playing Mech Warrior 5 right now. Go ahead and lock my arms, because they only go up and down, so not that necessary. Target acquired. Target spotted. Okay. We have gained Epsilon. The target spotted New thing. Target. If you hold E while you've got someone targeted, they have resource you have camera. different options here. Target spotted. And spotting the enemy gives a little mark that stays on the map for a few seconds, making it easier for everyone to watch we what they're doing. Throat's getting all messed up. New target I see acquired. you. Bye. Oh, he lived. New target acquired. I do dislike the way ga uh, Gauss New rifles target. charge target in this one. New target acquired. Oh, that's. Slightly painful night start. 
He doesn't like how painful I am, though. One more shot, you're cooked. All right. Oh, we got another friend over here. It does work better to fire your lasers before your heavy gauss, because the heavy gauss rock you around. Right, they are really big guns. Okay, and another one dead. And another one dead. Okay, I had to hold that shot because I didn't want to shoot my cataf uh, cataphract friend. My cataphract friend who keeps blocking me off. Hi there, Mr. Stalker. Bushwhacker. Oh, he is so lucky I missed. Sometimes I forget how much I love this game. Target destroyed. Okay, and hold that shot so it doesn't fire. Target acquired. Target spotted. Target destroyed. And another Target enemy down. Oh, you better run and hide, little thunderbolt. Target spotted. That's the Thunderbolt 9S. It's not a terrible mech. Depending on how he's got it built. I'm just going to slip up here at my 51 KPH and finish him off. Oh, that's a cadet. So he's in the uh, cadet thunderbolt, or the trial thunderbolt. Three heavy PPCs. Medium pulse laser destroyed. I think that cadet is actually Oh, I see what he's doing there. Or an AFK. Yeah, let's see. Cadet, can you figure out how to hit it? No. He can't figure out how to hit that other torso anymore. And of course, he didn't realize that heavy PPCs do have a minimum range, and he was inside of it. So his last shot with the three heavy PPCs did no damage to me. Halfway to victory. We need to keep holding on to our resource point. So we've got one mech somewhere on the field hiding. Uh, I would guess it's probably a light. We have gained uh, a lot of light mechs do that. Target acquired. Yep, Incubus. It's another cadet. Target spotted. And uh, I'm probably gonna do two videos a day for the next few days as I'm getting this series back out again. And then. Uh, once this is done, I might see if I can start getting some ghosts to help me out with just making some videos for fun. But there you go. Me using a couple of different uh, trial mechs. I really like this Fafnir. It's broken. 1,000 damage. Uh, five killing blows. Three of those were solo kills. Four kills most damage dealt. Like... This got me a lot of money, and I don't have premium time or anything enabled, so it's very nice. Anyway, that's been this video. If you like this, go ahead and hit the like button down below. If you want to see more, uh, subscribe. I'm always playing something. Until next time, have a good one.